Hello, I'm Jack from Air Arms and today we will be showing you how to replace an S400-500 barrel seal. The best thing to do with your gun is to remove the stock to avoid any damages or anything getting damaged at all. Which is a 5mm Allen key. It's a good idea at this point to remove the stock away from the area to stop anything from getting damaged. The next thing is to remove the magazine. Because you've caught the gun to remove the magazine, it's a good idea now to make the gun safe again by holding the bolt in the cock position but pulling the trigger to release the striker. It's also a good idea to remove the side plate for easier access. Remove the side plate is two and a half mil Allen key, the three screws. All screws are the same size and limp, so no need to worry about position after. Once the screws are removed, we can now remove the side plate and the cam. We put that to one side. On a 2.2 barrel seal, the part number is an S538. And on a 177 rifle, it's an FP121. To get the seal, we want to get it in, into that little groove just inside the barrel seal carrier. This is a very fiddly procedure and it will take some doing. The best way to start is to get a new S538 in this case. Give it a pink pinch with your finger. And then we're going to try and put that in there. When the, when the O-ring has entered the barrel, it's a good idea to get a small Allen key to try and help you remove it or move it into the recess. So here we have a 1.5mm Allen key to try and help us feed it into the slot. But just be very careful and be patient. You have to sort of go from every angle. Once the first part is in the slot, it's the best to try and feed it the, west, the rest of the way around. Just be very careful not to damage the seal carrier or the rifling. And there we have it. And now we are ready to replace our side plate and the cam and the magazine and exit post. We want to position the cam all the way to the front of the side plate, just like that. And now we're replacing the screws. All the screws are the same, so it's no difference. I'm using a two and a half mil Allen key. Do the screws back up. They do, don't want to be up too tight. Refit the magazine into the action. Keeping hold of the bolt, but pull the trigger to release the striker to make the gun safe. Refit the gun into the stock. Replacing the screw we removed earlier. And that is how you replace the barrel seal in S400, S500 range rifles. To see any more of our products or any helpful hints and advice, please go to airarms, air-arms.co.uk for more information. Thank you.